Carmella's gonna get some booty. Carmella's gonna get some booty. About time she got some booty, cause Tony is a hoe. <laughs> Oh shit, someone stole his truck! Look at his leg! Why are you fucking me like this? What the fuck are you talking about? I just spent an hour with the cops explaining how it went down. I know forget you professional criminal. Let me ask you something. What? I really wanted to rob you. You think I'd have to put up with this bullshit? Well, just so you know. I lost my study guide, my fucking flashcards. Sick of this fucking prejudice against ex-cons. I never hire you if I don't need Tony Soprano for union. Coming home drunk sounds like you. What the fuck did you say to me? What the fuck called me? For what? For what? What are these days? No, wait. I'm gonna kick the fucking ass. What's wrong with it? Huh? What's wrong with right now? Come on! Look at Tony or AJ. Uh. Can't talk about his honeycombs. <laughs> AJ, the little shit. He said, One day I'm gonna kick your ass. Wonderful, another crisis. Uh, he's still well below the sea average he needs for the colleges we discussed. about an hour to decide what to wear. Huh? Me too. <gasps> they like each other. Have you thought about my dinner offer? I have thought about nothing else since you called. Well, we can't do justice to any discussion of Madame Bouvry over the phone. That's the thing, though. That book was way over my head. <laughs> no. Why would you even be interested in someone like me? Not only are you very attractive, you're unpretentious. You say what's on your mind. You need to sell the big mouth. I'm a big mouth. That would attract a man like you. There are other things to think about. My husband, for one. Well, your husband's going to have to get used to the idea that your life is moving on. Ooh. I'm not worried about my life. <laughs> oh. You know what? Call me naive, but in this day and age, I don't really think your husband, if he found out, is going to break his son's teacher's legs. Not to mention how that would play in the admissions office. <laughs> I think I met somebody. Mm -hmm. Really? You're telling the priest. This kind of happened. We had been uh, working on this project together, and suddenly we both realized that there were certain feelings. Mm-hmm. Now, I like him as a person, too. But the funny thing is, I was sure he was gay. He sort of reminded me of you. <laughs> you know, he's an intellectual. You know what I mean? You know, if you really want to discuss this, I think we should include Tony in the conversation as well. Perhaps that's your sin talking. This is none of Tony's business. Your sin? That's what he's been up to, and not just during the separation either. That doesn't change the fact that you made a commitment to each other before God. Why am I the only one held to any kind of standards? Right. For that matter, if this is wrong, why did God put this man in my life? Is it God that put him there? Didn't he put the need there? <laughs> the priest, does he look like he's feeling some type of way? What's the thing I get stuck with you, I think? Oh, shit, goddammit. He made you American and criminal. No good for him. I stake you the money in the storefront. <laughs> I got a travel agency. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, Kim. Thanks. So what, he's going to open a shop for him or something? or? How am I supposed to focus at school with no breakfast? I got dizzy. I'm sorry, I don't see why the two of you can't work this out between yourselves. <sighs> Maybe I don't want to live in a place where people use violence against children. Violence? violence. You're lucky I didn't put my shoe up your ass. <laughs> see? And that's abuse. I know what my rights are. Abuse? I social services and they'll send a casework. Go ahead, you'll get the other shoe. <laughs> Go ahead, whatever you want. Fine. Family meeting? Try to stay awake, AJ. Keep walking. <laughs> I just want my old room back. Why? To live with your father, AJ. Live with your decision. I don't like it there. For me to even consider having you back, we're going to have to establish some non-negotiable ground rules. Like what kind? 
But you want to talk. I want you to involve me in your life a little. I'm fine. AJ, the little shit. He reminds me of my son right. so much. Just the I'm attitude. Sure the attitude. Couldn't even keep him that long, could you, Tony? <laughs> What's he gonna say? We played that just right. We played that just right. What? Madame Bovary, it's the first edition. Well, look at Carmella out with this dude. They gonna read Madame Bovary. Honestly, no, I don't know. He looks like he wants to kiss her. To have in a den. You know, you look really beautiful in this light. Mm-hmm. He wants to kiss her. I don't do this a lot. Do what? Date. I don't know if I should at all. I'm feeling like some teenager, which was, believe it. <gasps> kiss, kiss, kiss. Ooh, sucky, sucky. I haven't done with anyone. You're a virgin. The virgin. <laughs> oh, Carmela's gonna do the dirty. Carmela's gonna get some booty. Carmela's gonna get some booty. About time she got some booty. Cause Tony is a hoe. Tony is a hoe. She gonna be able to go through with it though? <gasps> Carmella! <gasps> Carmella! What'd I say? Carmella got some booty. Carmella got some booty. Ooh. So, how was it? Cut it out. <laughs> so, what is Carmella doing with a gun? What is she doing? Under the pillow? <laughs> What's she thinking? Five, six, two, four, seven. It's me, Lundetto. I'm only authorized to inform you that your score meets or exceeds the required minimum for licensure. He passed. He passed. He passed. Yeah. Aww. Check out Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Oh. I couldn't have done it alone. You did it, baby. You did it. Look, Tony, I know you're disappointed. What the fuck are you talking about? The way things turned out since I left the can, going to William. <laughs> hey, I came by to get the keys. Look at Tony, how he's looking at her. Tony. Hey. You believe there's a dog rumor there in case somebody needs a snack? <laughs> This is nice. A little paint, maybe. Man, this is my cousin Christopher. She's very pretty. Look at them looking at her booty. What's she here for? Happy endings? She's not gonna do a massage at all. She's Kim's daughter. She's trying to find herself. She'll do the books and shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't not getting off that easy. <laughs> Look at them gossiping. Hello there. Hey, AJ. How was school? Good. Good. Sucked. Sucked. This so way, put me in a language lab, two of my term paper notes. He puts his faggy hand on my shoulder and says, do your best. Maybe he's just a big homo. Oh my god. Hey, I'm making ziti for dinner. Go start your assignments, I will call you. You gotta help me. I don't know. No. Oh. She probably misses her son so much. Yeah. Mm. Poor thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my jacket. I never put those goddamn chicks who killed him. Oh my god. What's wrong with that person? Jerks. Garbage pills are right there. Uh oh. What'd that mean? What is that? Holy fuck. What? Oh my god, is it a fetus? Oh my god! Shh. It's crack. <gasps> crack, maybe. Who's gonna take the money? <gasps> they just happen to be walking when some drug dealers flew by and tossed their bag? They have never seen that much money before. You're doubly blessed. 
<laughs> Look at Carmella out again with him, having a good old time. That's right, Carmella, you do your thing, girl. Look at her, she's daydreaming while she's peeling the cucumbers. <laughs> oh Lord, is he gonna notice? Me. Michael Myers. What are you doing here? Jesus, nice greeting. What are you wearing? Yes, hello, Mr. Wegler. Hi, I'm afraid now is not a good time. I'm serious. Okay, goodbye, Mr. Wegler. I made reservations at that crab place down by the shore. Dinner and a little night swimming. Right, okay, thank you. What that fag want? <gasps> Jesus Christ, Tony, everybody's a fag to you. You know, maybe you're a fag. You ever think about that? <laughs> oh, when I see one? No, really? What are the signs? I forget now. Well, what the hell did you say they go to there with the abortion doctors? What a child molest. What is he doing? Time ago. So now you're all open-minded that you got a couple of friends and a baloney smoke. Why is he taking his clothes off? Right. Go for a swim. <laughs> Ew. You can't get rid of Tony. How are you going to have a relationship when you got to deal with his ass? just the cheating, you know? It's just not like him. He's always done his work poorly a lot of the time and late. His teacher's like but a hornhound. He, <laughs> he can't oh, stop touching Carmella. Bubba. I can't right now. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm too upset. Carmella. Mm -hmm. Carmella said, nope, gotta go. The soprano kid. How's he doing? Solidly below average. Mm hmm. So what, uh, the C? Mm, well, that's a little generous. This is an important class, Tom. Anything less than a C is gonna blow that kid out at Arizona State. You really think it's gonna make that much of a difference? He's doing his best. The world needs ditch diggers, too. Cut him a break. Oh. Hmm. Just say- so What does it mean to the kid who really breaks his ass in here? Afraid of Corleone can get a C because you asked. Is that what this is about? Oh. Carmella's back. She looks like she's feeling frisky. Look at Carmella. Union College is a good place for AJ? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should take a time out. What? Really? Why? I just think we should uh, not do this. What? I don't know any other way to put this. I don't know. I think you're a user, Carmella. What? What? Maybe you saw an opportunity in me and you just took what you needed. What? Oh, that is not true. How could asking someone you're with for help be using them? That's what people do. Oh, this hurts. Oh, my stomach. I feel sick. You strong-armed to me using the only weapon you have. Your pussy. <gasps> How dare you talk to me that way? Okay, just pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what, Bob? You are fucked up. You need help, you know that? Take it easy. Believe it or not, I thought you cared about me. Just thought you should know how I feel. Fuck you. Oh. You better watch your step. So, Anna, we open in three days, huh? So much for that partnership. What is he doing? Oh, oh my gosh. What are you doing, Steve Buscemi? That deal is done. Because I was married to a man like Tony, my motives will always be called into question. Poor Carmella. You want to tell him? You mentioned you might need someone to run the swag airbag. What happened with the massage bottle? It's hard to do a business with strangers. So now Steve Buscemi's not going to be straight. He's going to be involved in that lifestyle again. Oh, Lord. 
All right, y'all. Well, that was my reaction to The Sopranos, Season 5, Episode 6, Sentimental Education. Carmela got her little freak on with the dean or whatever he is at AJ school. And then he suspected that she was just using him all along just so that he could uh, make sure that AJ passed or whatever. I'm like, dang. I don't think she was using him. I don't think so. Then Steve Buscemi's um, offered a chance to, you know, have a massage parlor and he fucks it up at the end by beating the dude's ass. What the fuck was that about? Was he just stressed out? <sighs> it was a good episode. What else happened? That was pretty much what it was. Carmela and the Dean. Steve Buscemi in the massage parlor. Tony being a prick. That was a good episode. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Share my video. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Bye, guys.